ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعين ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فهو المهتدي ومن يضلل فلا هادي الله ولي مرشدا اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله وقال سبحانه وتعالى يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهد الله فهو المهتدي ومن يضلل فلا هادي الله ولي مرشدا اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله وقال سبحانه وتعالى يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا وقال ايضا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون وقال جل وعلا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير العدي يدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشار الامور محدثاتها وكل مدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار أيها أيها المستمعون الكرام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed shaitan I begin in the name of Allah the most compassionate Lord the most merciful I bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah I also testify to the messengership of our holy prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam brothers and sisters in Islam I wish you the very best by saying assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh Today our khutbah shall be based on those things we need to do to test the sweetness of faith the life of muslims the life of believers the life of those who obey allah is expected to be the same but it is not it is not several muslims are bearing muslim names but they are not enjoying the fruits of that name they are not enjoying the sweetness of the religion islam is a religion of peace but so many people are restless so many people have denied themselves the peace of islam islam is the sweetest thing to happen to anybody in this dunya but unfortunately you see so many muslims today they fall into depression you see so many muslims today they don't even know what they are doing and they keep telling you i don't even understand myself my brothers and sisters in islam the greatest gift that you can receive from your creator allah is hidayah Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said man yurid Allah bi khairan yufakkihu fi din if Allah loves you for good what will Allah give to you it is not money it is not houses it is not children it is not position it is the understanding of the religion if you have the understanding of the religion you will understand money you will understand children you will understand position you understand this dunya and you will be able to strategize to live according to your lord number 1 what is the first thing we need to know recognize allah as the owner and you as a user you are a temporary user 
you know nothing about what you use you only possess what you did not pray for you did not pray for dunya you did not ask for dunya you only found yourself here recognize as the as allah as the one who made you his choice if you know that you are the choice of allah then Allah's choice will govern your life. You did not choose that you wanted to be a man. Allah chose you. You did not choose that you wanted to be a woman. Allah chose you. You did not even select your mother. Allah gave you. You did not select your father. Allah gave you. The design on your face, you did not select it. Allah gave you. The day you arrived, Allah determined it. Subhanallah. He created so many creatures like you. The two eyes you have is the two eyes the dog has. The two eyes you have is the two eyes the cow has. What do you have that the dog does not have? You have legs with which you walk. The, the dog walks. You run. The dog runs. You eat and defecate. The dog eats and defecates. You sleep and wake up. The dog sleeps and wake up. You sleep with your wife. She became pregnant. The dog slept with the female dog. It became pregnant. You are the child, you are the child. You shout, the dog barks. Who made the dog a dog that the dog had no choice than being a dog? You are the choice of Allah. The very first thing we do that make life very miserable for us is that we impose our choice over the choice of Allah. If you know Allah as the Lord, the Creator, Allah says in the Quran to guide you so that you will understand dunya. You will not make mistakes. You will know what steps to take. I gave you Al Huda, the Quran. Anybody who follows the Quran, such a person shall never be misled. Such a person shall never be miserable. But if I send the Quran to you, one an Arad and Vikri, anybody who throws it aside, look at the Quran in our masjid. Beautifully arranged, but people don't touch it. They don't touch the Quran. They don't study the Quran. They do not read the Quran. They don't understand the Quran. Talk less of following the Quran. The Quranic generation, that of Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they will not read ten verses without understanding and, and implementing it. So the first major thing you need to know, my brothers is to understand that the law of Allah is the choice of Allah just as you are the choice of Allah. Do seven things with the Quran. Number one, learn the Quran. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa had a teacher. His teacher was Jibril. You need a teacher. Number two, read the Quran. Do not make it a seasonal revelation that you read only in Ramadan. Every day of your life, you need the guidance of Allah. And he says, I have not left anything unsaid in the book. Read the Quran. He says, Read the Quran because it will intercede on your behalf on the day of judgment. Read it at work. Read it in your houses. Number three. Try to understand what you read. People read the Quran without the intention of understanding what it says. That's why many people rush it without being people who understand Arabic, without being people who understand the, the, the Sabah Nuzul, who can read it faster than you. You pick the Quran, and after Bismillah, you start rush, even if you read. A letter written to you in English like that, you will not understand. If you read a letter written to you in your local language like that, you will not understand. And you are posting, I have read six, I have read seven. We are as Allah written. That is the number you read. Say Kitabun. This book, Anzal Nawi Lake. We have revealed it to you. Mubarakun. It is the solution to all problems. The Yadabaru Ayati. I want you to reflect on the meaning of what it says. So that men of understanding can change their ways. If you follow what the Quran says, you will never be miserable. You will never be sad. 
it answers all your questions. The second thing you need to do to taste the sweetness of this religion for your life to be good and your hereafter to be great is to take Muhammad as your model. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. People say Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because Allah commanded us to say so. But they do not understand the etiquette of following Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Not knowing that the relationship between us and Muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is that of the model and the person emulating the model Allah has chosen Muhammad it tells us in Surah Al-Ahzab 21 Quran 33 verse 21 لَكَوْدِ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ بُسْوَةٌ أَسْرًا the best example for you is in Muhammad so what do you need in Muhammad? character he says in Surah Al-Qalam نُون وَالْقَلَمْ وَمَا يَسْتُرُونَ مَا أَنْتَ بِنِمَاتِ وَبِكَتْ مَجْنُونَ وَإِنَّ لَكَ الْعَجِرَ غَيْرَ مَمْنُونَ وَإِنَّ لَكَ لَعَلَى خُلُكَ الْعَزِينَ It is character. Muhammad was truthful. My brothers and sisters, the day you say no to falsehood, you begin to enjoy your life. The day you stop deception, fraud, corruption, man in humanity to man, Look, even the disbelievers, they trusted Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that they kept their things with him. Emulate Muhammad that way. He was truthful. He was humble. He was, you would not identify him if he sat with his companions. He was not arrogant. He was very generous. More generous than the wind. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was charitable, loving, respectful. He fears Allah. He fears the day of judgment. It is these noble characteristics that you can develop to enjoy the peace of this dunya. Number three. To have the sweetness of the faith. Islam is not about speech making. Islam is about action. We pray a lot not knowing that our prayers will do nothing if they are not backed up with action. Each time Allah wants to tell you those who will make it in this dunya, Allah talks about action. He will tell you in Surah to Nal, verse 97, Man Amila Salia. It's about amal. It's about work. Whoever does righteousness, he prays at the right time. He fasts at the right time. He even wakes up in the night because of Allah. He trains his children. She trains her children. She did not allow the pursuit of wealth to take her away from responsibility imposed on her. He or she takes care of the elderly. She takes care of the orphan. She is there. This is the mosque of Allah we are building. This is my investment. Those who work righteousness in that care our own. Whether they are male or female, wahua mu'minun, so long as they believe, fala no hiyana wu hayatan tojiba. Allah says, I will grant you good life. And on the day of judgment, you're going to receive the best of the rewards. But you know what we do? Everybody say, Oh Allah, oh Allah, don't forget me. Oh Allah, don't forget me. Allah has answered you. You have to work. If you remember me, I remember you. If you remember me, I remember you. That's what Allah says. وَلَا تَكُونُ كَالَّدِينَ نَسُوا اللَّهَ فَانْسَاوُ وَانْفُسَوُ أُولَٰئِكَ هُمَ الْفَاسِكُونَ Do not be like those who forget Allah. And Allah made them to forget themselves. May Allah not count us among them. Amen. Why this is worrisome is that today people are worried. They're worried about what? Go and check them. Ask them. What are you worried about? Out of 1,000 people, Hardly will you get two people who are worried about Allah. They are worried about nonsense. They are worried about money. About where they will live. About their children. About progress in life. If you are worried about money, walk around the street of London and see what money has done. Which house do you want to build that people have not built? But when we get to the house, the house is built and abandoned. 
you ask where is the owner, he is gone. You are going. You are a traveler. A traveler doesn't travel with so much load, so much baggage. How many will you take to your grave? Allah Akbar that we say here is to remind you that Allah should be uppermost in your mind. It should be the highest of your worry. Because Allah is not joking. What if you look at all the pounds in London, let them put it together and tell you, you know what? We'll give you all these pounds because Allah has refused to give you. You know what? We will now take just one of those things you never ask Allah for, which Allah gave you. Take one and give you the pounds. Ask who is ready to leave his two eyes for 100 million pounds sterling. Not a single person will stand up in this masjid. Which means you are asking for something Allah has not given you. This is your worry. To remove the worry that you are asking for something Allah has not done. Remember what you did not ask for, which Allah gave to you. Those things you did not ask for, which Allah gave to you, they are far more superior than all the things we are looking for, which Allah has not given you. May Almighty Allah guide us. How do we ensure that for every prayer, you know Allah asks Allah ask us to pray. When you pray, Allah loves prayers. But Allah does not love prayers that are not backed by action. Allah does not love the dua of somebody who does not perform salat. Allah does not love the dua of somebody who cannot spend in the will of Allah. You cannot spend in the will of Allah. You build your house, you build your palaces, you cannot build the house of Allah. You don't know him. All you are building, do not build, does, anything you build does not belong to you. What belongs to you is what you have pushed forward. Allah says, Ya you are Ladina Aman, oh you will believe in Takullah, while it turns on nafsu ma lagadi. If you are wise, think of what you are pushing forward that you will meet where you are going. People treat dunya as a destination. No, this is not a destination. You are passing by. There are four places you will be. Number one, I have to in shock in your mother's womb is the first stage. Number two, I have to ibtila when you are in this land. This is the stage of trial. Everything you see is a trial. Number three, the grave. It is waiting for me. It is waiting for you. Allah has granted us the visa. You don't need to be worried about the visa. You don't need the, the tickets. You are granted. It's your place. It is waiting for you. And the fourth one, I have to jazar. The stage of reward and punishment. To taste this religion. Look, let me give you this prayer. Which is the biggest of the prayers. Rabbana atina fi dunia asanatan. Wa fil akhirati asanatan. Can we say Amen? Amen. Okay, go and look at the, the verse that follows. The verse that follows will shock you. That is, I've asked for goodness in dunya. I've asked for goodness in the hereafter. Allah says, We like all these people asking for goodness in this one and the hereafter. Lahum. What will they get? Nasibum mimma kasabu. I'm going to check what they did in dunya. It is from there they will get reward. When it is time to pay, to donate, that's when some people go to ease themselves. They never come back. They think they are wise. What are you pushing forward? Push forward what will make your tomorrow very, very prosperous. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So many of you here are great Muslims who have been investing, who have been doing very well, but something inside you is telling you, I have done enough. This is shaitan. You know what Allah says? If you go to Surah Al Najim, Allah says, Afaraita ladi tawalla. Look at somebody who turns back and says, This lecture is not for me. He has spent a little, then he stopped. Why is Allah describing all we can spend as a little? Subhanallah. 
why is Allah describing everything you can spend as a little? Because I just mentioned here. What is it that you can do as an act of ibadah that can compensate Allah for what he does in your life? I just asked. I said, 100 million pounds sterling, your two eyes, we're ready to buy it. And he said, no. Which means your two eyes are more expensive than a billion pounds sterling. Subhanallah. So what do you do to Allah who give you free? What salat can pay for it? What zakat have you done that can pay for it? If you do tawaf every day of your life, it will not pay for your ability to urinate. Allah Akbar. Wa in ta'udu ni'mat Allah And it tells us, if you are to count the blessings of Allah, you will never be able to count it. Go to any tertiary medical institution. Every department is dealing with a part of your body. If you had this is a teaching hospital, every office is looking after something in your body which Allah has preserved for you and has not subjected you to them. If you hear of oncology, they deal with cancer. May Allah save us from it. But people who are better than us are battling with cancer. You see nephrologists. You see people who tell you, I am a neurosurgeon. They open the head as you open orange. But every system in your body functions and you do not think about the one who activated it. You do not think about Allah. Your concern should be what do I do for Allah? If your concern is what do I do for Allah, you will not see any problem in this dunya. Because the whole world gathered together can never give me what Allah gave me. The kind of love that Allah has for me, no one has it for me. I did not even love myself the way Allah loved me because it was not the love I had for myself that brought me to my mother's womb. Allah yakhlukum ayasha. Because of this, my brothers and sisters, Allah says, The person who does not want to spend, he does not want to give everything Allah has given him back to Allah. Has information not reached you about what is in the book of Moses? Why Ibrahim and Lazi Wafa and Abraham who kept his promise to Allah. Allah Teziru Wazira Tun Wizra Ukhro. None of you will bear the body of another person. You are for, you are on your own. Look. Prophet no Prophet No. Despite his position before Allah could not save his own wife. Asia. The wife of Pharaoh could not save Pharaoh. Prophet Noah could not save his own son. Prophet Ibrahim salam, could not save his own father. What do you think that they will be? They said before a man remembers that he had a wife in dunya on the day of judgment. Before a woman will remember that she had a husband in dunya. He or she will be concerned about three things. Number one. Will my good deeds be heavier than my bad deeds today? Number two, will I receive my record with my right hand or the left hand or from the back? Number three, how will I cross this bridge? Subhanallah. Allah says, Wa an laysa insan illa masa. There's nothing for you on that day except what you strive for, except what you do. Nothing for you. One And whatever you do, you shall see some of you jaza Do you know the interesting part of it? There is nothing you can do that can take you to Jannah except the mercy of Allah. When those who have not been performing salat, when they had that, that even our salat cannot take us to Jannah, they said, What is the need for me? Why do I need to pray? I want to reply them immediately. You need to pray. Why is Allah saying whatever you do is not what we take you to Jannah, but by my mercy? It is because whatever you do cannot pay for Jannah. Whatever you do cannot pay for what I have done. But Allah now says, Who are those 
to qualify for my mercy. That is what that person did not listen to before saying, since I was not praying, there's no need for me to pray. Allah now tells you the condition. Those who will get the mercy, what they must do. If you go to Surah to Tawbah, verse 71, Allah says, Walimuminuna walimuminas. The first condition, you must be believing men and women. Who believes in Allah, believes the angels are writing my deed, who believes that the book of Allah must be obeyed, who believe in the Prophet, Prophet Muhammad especially, who believe that the struggle, who believes that a day is coming when I will be paid my reward or my punishment. Number two, they must be people who help one another. My brothers and sisters, let us assist one another. Assist them in your family. Assist your brothers and sisters, the orphan, the needy, the so many people are last mentioned in the Quran. Or you keep on a solar. Now you You must be commanding what is right. You must be forbidding what is wrong. Or you keep on a solar, you must perform in solar. Or you do not zakah, the person must pay zakah. Why you see on Allah wa Rasulah, the person must obey Allah and his messenger. Ulaika, whoever does all we have listed, Sayyarahamahum Allah. These are the people I will give my mercy. May Allah count us among those who will receive the mercy of Allah. Amen. We have some information for the mean. Allah dina shaydu laka bil wadaniya, bil nabiyika bil risala, amatu ala dhalik, Allah makfri lahu, warahamu, wafi wafanu, wasi mudakhalau, wakrim nuzulau. وَدَخِلُ الْجَنَّةَ مَا لَبْرَاءٌ بِرَحْمَتِكَ يَا رَحْمَ الرَّحِمِينَ And for all of us, may Allah continue to bless us. رَبَّنَا تَقَبَلْ مِنَا إِنَا كَنْتَ السَّمِينَ عَلِيمٌ وَتُبَ عَلَيْنَا يَا مُولَانَا إِنَا كَنْتَ تَوَابُ الرَّحِيمٌ رَبَّنَا أَفْرِقَ عَلَيْنَا صَبْرًا وَثَبِتَ كِدَامَنَا وَأَشْنَا لَلْقَوْمِ لِلْكَافِرِينَ رَبَّنَا أَتِينَا فِي الدُّنْيا حَسَنَةً وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنَةً وَقِنَا عَذَابَ النَّارِ سُبْحَانَ رَبِّكَ عَظِيمٌ إِذَاعَةٌ مَا يَصِفُونَ وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَى الْمُسْلِمِينَ وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ كُمْ إِلَى صَلَاتِكُمْ يَرْحَمُكُمْ اللَّهُ رَبَّنَا تَقَبَّلْ مِنَّا إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ السَّمِيعُ الْعَلِيمُ رَبَّنَا وَجَعَلْنَا مُسْلِمَيْنِ لَكَ وَمِنْ ذُرِّيَّتِنَا أُمَّةً مُسْلِمَةً لَكَ وَأَرِنَا مَنَاسِكَنَا وَتُبْ عَلَيْنَا إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ التَّوَّابُ الرَّحِيمُ رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَةً وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنَةً وَقِنَا عَذَابَ النَّارِ رَبَّنَا أَفْرِغْ عَلَيْنَا صَبْرًا وَثَبِّتْ أَقْدَامَنَا وَانْصُرْنَا عَلَى الْقَوْمِ الْكَافِرِينَ